Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, for those of you currently in separation, we're going to find out um, their feelings for you right now, your person's feelings for you right now. Today is the 26th of September 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is Malaysia is 3.45 p.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. It's free to subscribe. If you've commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, currently in separation. How does the person feel about Virgo right now? Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and your person. If you want a more accurate reading, Virgo, you can book me. All info is below. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not a sort of a verse. Virgo, your person isn't doing well, okay? Isn't doing well. Look at the Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, the Sun in verse, the Five of Cups, Judgment, and the Queens are both in verse. Some of you could be in a same-gender relationship. Not all of you, okay? The Ten of Wands... Your person currently feels like very, very life life is very challenging without you uh, in a picture because there's only one person carrying all of these wands here. So there's a very burdensome energy. They could be carrying a lot of burden emotionally right now or it could be physically, mentally, ten of swords. They're devastated, Virgo. They feel really really down but i do also see them trying to persevere trying to move on but there's always they're always um with the judgment there there are always memories from the past that i don't think they can get rid of okay like it keeps coming up um it's like they have no control over their thoughts all of these memories that's another feeling that i'm picking up on is that they wish they could just wipe it all, like just wipe it, wipe their memories completely off of their brain. And this reading actually reminded me of that song from Ariana Grande, We Can't Be Friends. Is that the, the title? And then we've got the Eight of Swords. And well, first, they can't stop thinking about you. This is why, Virgo. I feel like, bear in mind, roles can be reversed, but I don't see a person feeling great right now. They feel really, really down, really low, and they can't stop remembering. It feels more like all of the memories from the past, it keeps coming back. It's almost like a broken record, right? It keeps repeating and repeating and repeating. And they could be feeling like, I wish I I can just erase everything, which is impossible, obviously. And the sun here is in reverse. They're not happy. They're feeling very pessimistic. They don't know if both of you could reconcile, will reconcile. Five of Cups here is in reverse. They may also feel like, you know, maybe you guys should talk. Maybe to hash things out with the judgment here. That way it could help them to move on um, better. But... I do see them wanting to move on, but they just can't help it, okay? And also, we've got the Fool right here. And Virgo, to be honest, this reading is for those of you currently separated, but it feels very fresh, okay? It feels very, very fresh. It doesn't feel like it has happened a gazillion years ago. It feels very, very fresh because of the Fool here um, and the Queen of Swords. Here is in reverse. They may feel like you hold grudges towards them. You're upset with them. You don't want to talk to them. Um, that you don't love them anymore. Maybe you've already liberated yourself from them. But it could also be them wanting to liberate themselves from these emotions. Feelings of sadness, pain, and all of these 
past memories that they can't get rid of. Let's see more uh, Virgo. Hangman. Seven Pentacles in one first. Ace of Swords in one first. They can't sleep at night. Virgo, it feels fresh, okay? It really doesn't feel like... Because the Ten of Swords is still in an upright position, so it doesn't feel like this has happened a long time ago. Okay. If you've had a separation, you've been separated from someone for many, many years, I feel like you should move on, okay? Because, like, for example, like my mom, she couldn't move on from my dad for many, many, many years. It still hurts her till today. But I feel like that is... That is not necessary. That is definitely not necessary. I feel like for some of you, Virgo, you could still be very hurt. This is why I brought this up. You could still be very, very feeling really hurt from somebody you have been separated from for a very, very long time, since years, years ago. But this reading, Virgo, is not for for you guys, okay? Who have been separated for a very, very long time. Unless this is your energy, that you are still very devastated, still really sad. Um even though the separation has happened since forever, okay? Now, for most of you, Virgo, this, I feel like it's a pretty fresh separation. Hangman is here. So they're, they're not in the most comfortable, com they're not in the most comfortable position right now because how can a hangman be comfortable when he's upside down, right? So he does think a lot about you and he's trying i do see he or she is not gender specific like somebody here is trying to move on and the seven of pentacles is in one verse pondering with that you know everything that has been maybe the effort energy that they may have been invested in this connection that they have invested in this connection prior to separation or wondering if they should invest continue to plant seeds Ace of Swords in one first. Both of you are not talking to each other right now. If there is any communication, it could be very sarcastic or very dry. It could be very vindictive, mean as well, if there is any. But Five of Swords could also mean mind games, manipulation sometimes. They may feel like they shouldn't talk to you right now to show that they're healed with the star. Look, death. Again, Virgo, it feels really fresh. You know, deep down, Virgo, they do want to heal this connection, but somehow they feel like it's kind of unattainable or that it takes a lot of sacrifices in order for both of you to take this new leap of faith, to have this new start with a fool. But they're kind of pessimistic about it. They do feel like this is over, but constantly pondering with the idea of restarting things taking a new leap of faith with you but not particularly positive like convinced they're not convinced that this could happen but i do see them wanting it to happen they could be wishing for that to happen the false of schools, I mean, them wondering if they should fight for this connection or just completely forget about it and just, you know, no point. There's this energy of like, maybe there's no point but, or maybe I should fight for this connection. Maybe I should try something, do something. Um, unless it's them feeling like you need to do something, you need to show them that you care, you need to show them that you want this as much as you as much as they do before they would be open to reconciliation because the five of swords like I don't want to lose in this game it's like one upping somebody let's pull out some of these uh, romance angels here Virgo let's see Virgo make sure you subscribe it's free to subscribe retreat so they're retreating they're not doing anything right now. They feel like they shouldn't. 
and then give your relationship a chance they do feel like maybe both of you should give this connection a chance but i feel like virgo this is somebody who is also trying to move on at the same time i do see them conflicted separation as you can see um yeah obviously both of you are separate separated time apart from your partner is on the horizon but look but you're you're both separated already okay forgiving and learning they could be feeling like wondering if they should forgive you or you should forgive them or trying to get your forgiveness something about forgiving and may maybe learning and give this connection a second chance and love yourself first they could be feeling like they need to heal right now. They need more time or giving you your time to heal first. An engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. They could be feeling like if both of you were to get back together, were to reconcile, it has to be taken to the next level. Or the issue of this connection could be, I mean, the reason for the separation could be because somebody could be engaging with somebody else or somebody wants to be engaged or wanting to take the connection to the next level, but the other person may not be that keen. But it could be anything, true love. They still love you. They still care about you. But I'm also seeing that this is somebody who doesn't want to look weak. Um, also probably have a bit of an ego, okay? They are really, really sad, but... They're hiding it because of the Ace of Swords Malverse. I don't see them wanting you to know. I do see them wanting to appear to be okay. Alright, Virgo. This is your reading. I hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, all info is below. And, um... Make sure you subscribe, it's free to subscribe. And if you don't know, I have a main channel, it's called Chelsea Love Tarot. So go ahead and subscribe to my main channel as well. I do all 12 signs over there. Over there. <laughs> Take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. I love you. Bye.